Hello, we are at Albuquerque Isotope Stadium tonight. Uh, we're going to see the Isotopes play baseball, but it is retro night and it's Duke's night. Uh, Duke's is the baseball team that was here before the Albuquerque Isotopes. And so we see Duke stuff all around. If you're familiar with the Simpsons at all, they once used to have uh, the Springfield Isotopes. And in one of their episodes, the Springfield Isotopes left Springfield and they moved to Albuquerque. And so just so happened that the Dukes left Albuquerque and disbanded and there was a new baseball team coming to Albuquerque and they named it the Isotopes. Uh, so we'll show you inside the stadium when we get inside there. And there's another team that plays here, or it's the same team? Uh, yes, it's the Mariachis Nuevo Mexico, which is a New Mexico pride type of thing. Right, local and, stuff. Uh, yeah, local stuff. So they bring in mariachis and everybody has a good time and there's lots of mariachi music and it's, it's fun. Yeah, they do that every once in a while, kind of like this retro night. Uh, different nights around the season, uh, sponsored by different companies. I'll show you a picture of the uh, mural that we can see from where we're sitting right now. We're outside the stadium. point out that across the street from Isotope Stadium is the football stadium for the New Mexico Lobos, uh, University of New Mexico. And at the other end of the intersection um, that you can see through there is, uh, they call it the pit. Um, it's always sponsored by somebody different, so it's always titled a little different. But that is where the New Mexico Lobos play basketball, men and women's. Um, in addition to concerts are held there, and a lot of a lot of fun stuff. We have seats on the first baseline tonight, so we're going down to this entry, and there are metal detectors and such. Uh, so we'll show you a little bit more when we get inside the stadium. Thank you. We are inside, walking down the promenade. Thought we'd show you around a little bit. All the eateries that are up here. Helmet nachos. Like we said, it's a throwback to the Simpsons, so you still see stuff like that around the stadium a little bit. In the pro shop here, and wanted to point out that the isotopes farm to the Colorado Rockies. Oh, well, I haven't seen this before. Jack Daniels, anyone? On Dion's for dinner, a local pizza place, and we love Dion's pizza. We are inside at our seats. Uh, we got pretty good seats tonight. We're in row J, but the rows in this section start at F. Location on Gibson is open until 10 p.m. every night, and make sure. berm seating in the outfield and there's a kid zone back there. Um, a couple little rides. I saw these straws. Carousel. It used to just be the, when it first opened. You know, cardboard because the cardboard was falling apart. So it's so nice to see that it's grown over the years. Um, neither of us have ever sat in that berm area. Mostly because you have to sit on the grass and a high likelihood of getting sunburned. Unless, unless you break see these scoreboard right, is normally uh, Dukes are playing of course home team on the bottom but don't be confused by that Dodgers the, tonight the Dukes are playing the Oklahoma City Dodgers and now is the new president of the Baseball Hall of Fame and colleagues isotopes play-by-play announcer Josh Sushaw with the singing of our national anthem performed tonight by Eden Woodard.
Simba cam. People are holding up their kids. It's so cute. to the end of the evening it was a lovely game lots of fun good to go down memory lane for people like us who remember the Dukes and all that unfortunately they lost but uh, really great fireworks display and uh, I would say probably the best part of the night was when they did a jumbotron uh, look into the crowd and we saw her hands race <laughs> Yeah, I think my favorite part was when the music plays, like Bohemian Rhapsody, and everybody not only sings along, but after they cut the music, people keep singing along. That was my favorite part. Yes. So we had a great time tonight. We encourage anybody who comes through Albuquerque to catch a game if they can. Um, tickets start, I think, $12 for chairbacks and go all, the, go all the way up to about $25 for upper deck. Uh, so we hope to get back there soon and uh, enjoy some more times out. That's right. Uh, have you ever been to a small um, town AAA ball like this? Let us know in the comments below and give us a thumbs up.